Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Litex tutorial, um, or Litex overview, should I say. Litex is a new image editing app available in the um, in the App Store. It costs one pound forty nine, and um, I should imagine it would be around around two dollars. I should imagine. I don't know for sure, but um, I can't see it being much more than that. So, as I said, Litex is in the image editing app. It's nowhere near as polished as in Lite. Um, I don't think so anyway but you know I think with a few updates they could get there and and there is some quite cool things that you can do with it I will have a play around of it and um, and do some more tutorials at a later date but just for now I'm going to do a quick overview a quick um, quick fundamentals and how to use the tools and how to use Litex um, very briefly so um, so we're just going to select this image here and we're um, we're greeted with this screen right here in the top left hand side we have open and that would obviously open um, your camera roll and then we have this like next along we have this like download button but it's not a download button well it is I suppose what it does it saves the image in its current form that you have on the screen to your Litex um, album within your photos because it creates an album for you and then the next one we can um, we can save images out and we can save them in low medium or high form as you can see there on the screen and we can save them to these obviously various social media whatsapp twitter facebook and um, instagram email um, or you can go more right here and um and we could go um, save image there so that's um that's how you would save the image out and the top right hand side of the screen we have these um this this, this little um, settings wheel and all that does is allows you to see video tutorials which are quite good and um, normal tutorials you can share right and obviously write to the, um, the developers of the app so in order to get to the tools um, we can um, we can slide from the right hand side of the screen over or we can just tap the right hand side of the screen and just push to our left and it will give us this tools view here and our tools is broken down in various various um, headings or under various headings at the top we have instant then creative selective shape pro tools and tools at the very bottom so another way that we can um, get to our tools is the little pencil in the right hand side now I'm going to start from the top at the top is just simple filters we can go along and select whatever filter we want along the bottom you can see in blue I have these daily filters selected we could choose paper and it would give like a paper texture behind the image and um, vintage retro glow drama um, or black and white filters so the drama is a little bit different you just got this bright and the dark but you notice on all the um, images that I use if I use this retro if I select one of them so I've got it in a blue square along the bottom I can select it again when you see this slider and we can edit some of the um, <clears throat> some of the settings within that um, selected filter I'm just gonna click this cross button here to go back so on um, on the bottom left of our screen as well you can see this like um, this little mirror with the um, with a circle around it and if we select that it just shows you what the image was like and that will be on most screens I'm not gonna save this out or, or keep this image as it is um, if I was I would just use the tick button at the top right and if I did do that the tick button at the top right I'd be greeted back with this view and um, down the bottom we've just got again how the image was or we can do select the undo button which was next to it um, just show us our tools again so that's filters and then we have artistic and um, we just have different charcoal paint and um, and modern and again the modern what's different with the modern which is quite nice when you select the modern we can either double tap and we get the um, this ability to um, to edit and um, using the toolbars here likewise what we can do is anybody's familiar with screen blending we can just use this this roller on the screen right hand side to um, use apply different screen blending options to our image as well which is quite cool it's quite nice looks quite um, quite nice and very easy to use I don't want to use any of those so I'm just gonna click the cross button and go back and um, next we have this selfie and on the selfie all this does is a bunch of tools and I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on this on its own the selfie all it does it gives you a bunch of tools for when you select selfie to allow you to sort of remove dark bits under your eyes and blemishes and all that good stuff but like I said I will do a, um, a tutorial on that 
um, in itself. Next, we have the creative. Next day, we have creative. And the first thing we come to is this cutout. So the cutout is quite tall. Um, cut a tool is quite cool. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to draw with my finger around the outside of the image. <clears throat> okay, so next we have creative. And the creative on the um, the first one is the cutout. So I'm going to do the cutout, select the cutout. I'm just going to tap the screen so it um, gives me my tools. And with my smart select tool on the bottom left um, selected, I'm just going to draw around the outside. I don't know why it didn't let me then. Um, that image. And then if I click next, it will show me that image with the selected part that I've just used cut out. And we can you know, use the anchor button here to change and, and switch that image. We can see what it was. Um, we can duplicate the image by um, by selecting this little button on the left hand side, like so. You can make quite a nice sort of collage with that. Um, so we can change, obviously, the background image, the effect and the filter on the bottom um, toolbar there. I'm just going to click back for now. Um, the smart arrays, all the smart arrays will do is remove some of the effects or some of the um, some of the effects from, from an area that I use on the image. You can't really see it at the moment because I've not applied many effects. Or you can use the select tool like so to just rub over your with your finger and um, and apply some image and likewise with the erase tool i'm just going to remove that effect that i just applied and i'm just rubbing with my finger at any time you want to see um, want to go back in and just click the um the undo button i'm not going to save that out so i'm just going to click the back and um, so let's have a look at our tools again <laughs> so where my image went i slid it off the screen let's have a look at our let's have a look at our tools again um, in the blend mode, obviously we can add an image bottom left. We can add a cutout, like I just showed you how to do the cutout. We can add a cutout, or we can add these um, quite cool presets, um, which are quite nice. So we can add a preset, just um, use my fingers to resize the preset, and then use this slider bar here to um, to adjust the, um, the intensity or the um, opacity of that preset. And then we can change the... Um, the blending modes down the bottom here and you can get some quite nice um, effects going on like so with some of the presets so I'm just going to close that I don't want to use any of those and then we go to the color mix the color mix I just have this two patterned color swatch what I can do with um, I can select one and it highlights um, blue at the bottom a little a little blue glow at the bottom you can see and then I, on this color wheel I can just move my finger across I select a different color and I choose the other swatch and um, and select a different color on that um, so that is my um, my my color blend this little um, crosshair button that's selected in blue it would just move that filter for me so it would move it as a one it's not a very nice um, a nice thing and not a very nice effect and it's hard to line up again um, so then we can go on the blending mode and we can blend that color again um, we can screen blend, soft light, hard light, just sort of blend modes. Or we can do it at an angle. I'm not going to do my finger, I'm just going to run around this angle like so. And it will change the angle of the colour mix that I've used. So that's quite simple. And then we go to the selective. On the selective, um, we just select a brush. So we can select an area sort of by, by moving our finger. And it will um, apply an effect to that area. And then we can change that area um, like so. And it is quite effective. I did that very, um, very crudely. Let me show you a little bit, um, a little bit better. So I'm just going to apply um, sort of an effect to this area here. Um, and we change the tone of it. I'm going to double click the tone. And I'm just going to change um, the way that looks in comparison to the rest of the image. And you can add quite a professional touch like so. Um, I'm just going to click the cross button and then the cross button up here because I don't want to apply that. Um, and then we can go to the um, to the color splash. And again, I'm just using an area with my finger, scribbling that area in, and then selecting the filter from the bottom. And again, with the shades, the paint. Um, this motion is quite nice. So it gives quite a nice motion. So if I just undo this and I select um, this area just here. And then I select that motion. You see, it's quite nice. And if I can double tap, 
you get this sort of um, this sort of effect and it's quite a cool effect I should imagine you could put two images over the top of each other screen blend them and use that motion effect on the bottom one it would look quite cool um, so um, and then we go to where were we the color so on the color I don't think um, we can just match match colors of the um, of, of backgrounds if you like so if I go to this um, this this background here it just changes it all white so I can match the background colors I can match all of the image to um, any background color and then I can apply a filter double click the filter and, um, and mess around with the filters there so that's quite an easy tool to use and then we go on to the shapes on the shapes on here I'm just going to refine the shape so I'm going to refine an area select an area and then sort of um, change the shape of that area so we like if like I've, I've, I've um, pumped his chest out a little bit there you can see um, or we can use the point tool to um, to sort of um, warp the shape so that looks quite cool as well quite effective you see I've, um, if I go back and show you how the image did look like so now I've just um, made his shoulders a little bit broader made his chest a little bit bigger as well so I'm just going to close cross on that then we can reshape on the reshape in the touch we're just going to touch and we can um, rotate the uh, um, mess with the image like so I'm going to click back I'm going to go uh, um, to that um, to that reshape again because I never showed you the pinch so I'm going to pinch and squeeze the image to change the um, change the shape of the image as well click the cross button because I don't want it on this perspective the little perspective tool I'm going to swipe my finger horizontally or um, or vertically and um, and just get a different view of the image like so so it, it fills the image back in for you, you notice, but what it does, it makes the, um, let me show you what it looks like, so like so. so. It just gives you a different take on the image. It's quite a cool um, little tool. And then we've got the curve of the Pro Tools on the curve. So on these curves, we've got the RGB at the bottom, red, greens, blues. I can add um, up to five different points on this, on this curve line. So I'll just tap the curve line and I've added another little white point you see um, on the left and the far right of the box in the image you can see I've already got two points I've got three with a one in the middle so I could add another two um, and all we do is we we curve this image and change the reds the greens and the blues and it gives you like um, you could just create your own sort of filter effect if you like just get used to messing about with it and um, once you practice with the RGB and the, and the curve tool, it is quite an effective tool. Um, likewise with the levels tool, it's going to slide along my my finger along the levels along the bottom. And again, I've got my RGB selector, um, reds, greens, blues selector. And again, you can just create a not quite a nice um, quite a nice filter effect. So on the balance, we can just balance the colors. Um, and as with any balance tool. We have shadows, midtones, and highlights, and we can select them from the bottom, like so. It's quite a um, quite a nice little um, nice little tool as well. And then we have the transform tool. So this is where I can just crop the image just by using my finger, or you can have the predefined um, crop sets there. Click the cross button, you can rotate the image, like so. Um, just using the um, slider once we've selected rotate. Or we can flip the image either horizontally or vertically. We can flip the image like quite easily just using that button there. Um, so that's the transform tool. On the adjust tool, obviously, we just got the light and the tones, the colors, and the RGBs. Um, and they are very self explanatory, speak for themselves. Again, you can have quite a nice filter, a manual filter, and get the effect just the way you want it. The focus is like tilt shift blur. So we um, sort of move this circle to wherever we want it, and it'll keep that that area clear and the rest of it blurred within the circle like so or we could have the shift um, where we just got the um, the lines across the screen and within the lines it's clear and outside of the lines it's blurred and you can adjust the blur intensity of the outsides with this little swatch with this little slider here and again the mask we can just select an area to keep clear and then blur the rest of it um, like so so that's um, quite an easy tool and then finally we have the text tool so the text I would just tap to enter the text so on the left hand side we can select our font 
on the right um, on the little keyboard there we just type whatever it is we want to type and then on the colors there we just swipe our finger over the colors and then this little two boxes along the bottom um, is the outline and the main part so this is the fill and I can adjust the brightness and the alpha color of the fill the alpha luminosity and then here we've got the outline and we can make the outline a little bit bigger with the tools on the right hand side here we tick the button to um, to select that as our text and then we could place that text wherever we want just by dragging our finger um, or we can resize the text or rotate the text like so so we click the cross button and that um, very very crudely very quickly is an overview of Litex like I said I will have a mess around with the application itself and if um, I, I think it's worthwhile and I, and I think you know you can do some quite cool things with it then I will um, I will put out a few tutorials I'm sure but um, like I said it's a really good app not as professional as in light but it's getting there and I'm sure with a few in a few updates time it will um, it will be really good really um, user friendly and really cool to use with some great effects but like I said as soon as I've got some um, some cool things to do with it I'll um, as long as people want me to I'll do some tutorials so thanks a lot for watching I've got a great day